So the first thing we've addressed, which is the more common thing, is uh, cough, which is a new cough and tends to be constant and dry. And that would score you one point. Now, you will, most people will have a fever. In fact, the vast majority will have some form of fever. Most of the fever is mild fever. That in itself isn't a significant problem because, again, that's a low score. And then the other one is a sudden loss of smell and taste, which is a new symptom that has been discovered and has been reported on. Again, that's a lowish score. It just indicates that you probably do have this, the condition. And then the diarrhea and the vomiting is, again, um, an un, not an uncommon stuff, uh, a common symptom. We are not concerned if you're able to tolerate the fluids. It is if you cannot tolerate the fluids that we are quite worried. So if you have diarrhea and vomiting, a little bit of vomiting and you can drink, then we would argue that you can stay at home uh, because that would give you one point. But if you're not able to tolerate fluids, that scores you three points and that's a worry for us and that's um, one of the cases that we would be a bit concerned about. Some people will have sore throat and feel generally tired again, that's not unusual. Again, that's one point. Uh, but some people, a small minority, will have shortness of breath and they feel very, they'll find some difficulty breathing. That would score them three points. If you have a symptom score of less than three and you are under 60 years old and you have no known health issues, we would advise you to stay at home because you're more than likely going to recover within a few days or maybe a week or two. And this instance, because you're symptomatic, you need to self-isolate. And there are government guidelines on the government website. What we would add to that is that whilst you're recovering, make sure you drink plenty and take Tylenol if you've got a fever or ibuprofen as required. The ones who have a score of more than three, uh, over 60 and known to have health issues, for example, hypertension, diabetes or heart disease. Or if they have a symptom score of three or more, it uh, doesn't really matter what their age is or what their uh, health issues are, or if they feel that their symptoms are getting worse. So, for example, they had diarrhea and vomiting, they could tolerate fluids before, but now they can't tolerate the fluids. Or they had a dry cough but weren't short of breath, but are now short of breath. Then those are the ones we think should call us. And what we're providing is, um, what we're saying is they should, if they have a general practitioner, they should call their general practitioner's uh, office initially for advice. If they can't get through to that or they don't have a general practitioner, they should try the government helpline. Or if they can't get through to any of these, they should then call the emergency department telephone triage.